Okay, welcome. This is part three of my file upload tutorial. Now, I wasn't originally going to do a part three, or four for that matter, anything beyond two, but people were requesting things, so why not? Um, so, some of the things that were requested is uh, to get some information uh, from the user on, your, on our form and insert it into the database, and then uh, make it so you can download from the database. Uh, and we'll make that dynamic uh, with a separate page, which we will eventually call download.php. So um, this is the exact same script script ending off or leaving off from the end of uh, part two of the series. So I've got it open here, got my images folder up here, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this right here. Just keep, bear with me for a second. I'll explain what I'm doing. Um, so if we remove this if statement, um, it'll allow your users to upload anything. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, it'll allow your users to upload any file. So, all right. Um, so actually, what we're going to do, is not, we're not going to remove it, but we're going to say... Uh, We're going to say you did not select a file, and we're going to make it so we're just going to check for a file. So we're going to say if dollar sign name. So really anything you can put here um, as long as it's one of these because we've already gotten this information. So if I just test it, if I choose a file, I'm just going to choose this blank archive file. It's a raw file. There's nothing inside of it. Uh, so we're just going to click it, submit. Your image has been uploaded, and if we go to the images folder, it's now in here. Um, what we're also going to do is we're going to uh, change that to its name. So if we refresh and resend, we have it again. And I forgot the dollar sign. Sorry about that. Refresh, resend. So now we have... Oh, uh, making all kinds of mistakes, just starting off here. Sorry, everybody. Um, so, we're also going to move them into a new folder just called Files. So, ooh, there we go. So, we're going to create a new folder, call it Files. We're going to say your file has been uploaded and all right so let's try this again so we select our blank dot raw file click submit the file has been uploaded you see we, in our files folder we now have blank dot raw um, so our file is moving to a different folder now and I'll just keep the images folder just in case I want those files later um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our database uh, you can use an existing database. All we need is just an extra table in a database. So let's create a new table and we'll call it files. And I'm going to say four fields. And we can just add more later if we need them. So we're going to have an ID. We're going to have a title. We're going to have a description. And we're going to have a, uh, we'll just go with date. So our ID, if you're making a legitimate upload site, you might want to have your uh, type as a big int. So for your ID, our title will be a varchar of 100 characters, description will be a text, and the date will be a varchar of 50 characters. Then we're going to scroll over. We're going to select the auto increment. Uh, checkbox for our ID and we're also going to set our ID to with a primary index and we're going to click save so you can see we have this we have our table now so if we go back to our index.php file so before we move the uploaded files first thing we need to do is we need to connect to our database now I'm just going to put an include or better yet a require and this will just be connect.php. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because 
we are going to have another file that uh, will connect because we will need to connect with our download file, our download page. So we'll just save this out. Connect.php. Save it. There we go. So the first thing we need to do is we need to select, or we need to connect to our database. So we're going to use MySQL um, connect, and then parentheses. Our parentheses inside of our parentheses it takes two parameters. So the uh, first parameter is the local host for me. This is your server local host. This is your server, um, your server name. And if you're using a paid host, uh, this information will be uh, given to you by your, your uh, hosting service. The second one is your username. And the third parameter is your password, which in this case, mine is just password. So <clears throat> on the next line, we need to select a database. So MySQL underscore select underscore db parentheses colon or semicolon and in our parentheses we have our double quotation marks and my database name I believe is just tutorials yeah right there database name is just tutorials so so tutorials so this connects to our database and selects our database so or it connects to our server and selects the database so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to run a check for we're actually gonna do this uh, above our require because we're gonna be moving all of this right here inside of, of an, another if statement. So we're gonna say if, and we're not gonna do this yet. Uh, we're gonna go to our form and back to this our root page here, and we're gonna add in a couple of uh, fields in our form. So the first thing we're gonna add is we're gonna add it at the top here. and we're just gonna add some more rows and columns here we're gonna say title so this is gonna be the title of the file whoops so our title is just gonna be a text box so input type equals text name equals title and that's really all we need for that. So if we just save and refresh, and we don't want to resend, there we go. You can see that we now have this. Yay! Um, and you can see it's kicking this over all the way over here because it's putting it to the end of here because this is our first column. This is our second column. But down here, these are all in one column. These first uh, three areas right there. So to fix that, I'm just going to copy this and we're gonna get rid of that right there so there we go so now this all of this is in our second uh, column so what we're also gonna add is actually I'm just gonna copy and paste this we're gonna need the description and we're gonna make our description area slash box thing we're just gonna make it a text area and we're going to end the text area so uh, in here we're going to need to hit in about nine minutes here um, and here we're going to need the name so name equals description and our coals uh, will set to 35 and the rows to we'll just say five so we have that. We refresh. See, we now have our little description box here. You can select your file and everything. So I'm going to stop this video here. Uh, in the next video, we will actually be getting this information, uh, whatever's typed in, and we'll be inserting it into our database. So check out the next part of the series.